hey hey welcome to my channel i am grace in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make seamless carousel using canva on your phone but i'm here to show you that you can design pretty awesome carousel on your phone and then you can upload it on instagram so without further much talking let's get right into the video all you need is the canva application so before you start it's important that you um have a script of your content what do you what do you want to what what do you want your content to be about it will just help the whole process very easy and faster so to get the designs um the canvas sign all you need to do is click on this plus sign here click on it then click on custom size because we're not using the normal instagram um, post size or instagram portrait for this particular tutorial we'll be using um the double of the instagram post the normal one not the portrait so you click on custom size the width is going to be 2160 and the height is going to be 1080. And then when you finish doing this, just click on create new design. When you create when you create a new design, this is what it should be looking like. You have options to use a template, but we're not going to be using any of these templates because they look like cover photos and the rest, but we're not using that. So this is what it's going to look like if your margin is not turned on. This is what your canvas will pretty much look like to so look this blank and that's okay why i usually um activate the margin is so that it can help me design properly and follow the design rules of um positioning my uh, positioning and aligning my text and elements and also be able to have the white spaces that are required so in order to activate the margin which is actually a very important um aspect of design you click on this um three dots at the top then go to view settings then go to show margin and it will automatically come up now the fact that it's showing this margin does not mean this is how it's going to come out in your um in your design when you export it it just basically means that this is going to guide you in order to do your design i love turning on my margin before i start designing now if you are doing a normal slide it will just be easy for you to just go ahead and start designing and if you're doing your carousel you can also just start designing but i like to do one more step in order to make sure that my design is going to flow accordingly so what i normally do is that i go to that same three dots at the top then go to view settings then i'm going to click on add guides click on add guides when i click on add guides you see 12 columns six columns three by three grid i'm going to click on custom what i want to do is that i want to divide because you know this page is, this is actually two pages i want to divide the pages into two like i want to really see that okay they're actually two pages so that it can help me design um make help me arrange my design the way i want so you come here to columns and click on two then you say the gap click on one and then you click on done so once you click on done it automatically brings out this line and this line is the um is going to it's just basically dividing the two pages so i love this very much because it helps me uh, know that okay this is the first part this part of the part by the left is the first part that someone is going to see in my design and the second part is the second part somebody is going to see in my design so apparently this part is page one and this is page two so if you're doing a normal slides if you're doing a normal instagram slides this will be the first page and this other one will be the second page it's as easy as that but this grid line also is not going to show this ruler is not going to show at all on your when you export your design this grid line just going to help and guide you on how to place your design so the next thing i want to do is remember this is the design that we're going for so as you can see how it looks like so the first thing i did was to um put a background you can decide to leave your background blank you can decide to change the color to whatever you want but i like to use nice background just to have this you know artistic feel 
So I'm going to go to element. What I did was I went to element to search for artistic background. You can see it here, artistic background. And I found this one. This is the one I found. Then I'm going to click on this three dots here and go to set as image background. Set image as background. I'll click on it. And it automatically sets as my background. And this is what I have right here. Then I went to my upload to bring in my logo okay this is it you can use your two fingers to adjust to bring your design closer or further just to see how it looks like i like to adjust it this way so that i can see the size of my design and it helps me to be able to also um uh, make the design or place the element or the text at the appropriate place i'm going to be posting my logo right here and that'll be it for this page and then the next thing I did was I went to Canva element and also typed did you know did you know to find out to find some element of did you know and I found I found um, this one so this is the one I'll be using also zoom to show you closely this one I'll be using and I want to change the color to the brand color so it's important that anytime you're doing a design, you have to stick with not more than three colors, basically. And that three colors, one has to be black, one has to be white, and any other color. Sometimes four colors are okay, but you have to be really sure that the design is going to have, the colors have unity. Because imagine how this design is, and I come to this yellow, and I pick something like pink. It's totally off, except that's my brand color. But since it's not, I'll just stick to the yellow because it rhymes with the background. So if you look at the background, it has black, it has yellow, it has white. And that is what I'll be sticking with. So I'm going to put this right here. Then I'll also go to my element and use this picture. This is the picture that I used right here. This is a picture. Then I'm going to remove the background. If you're using, if you don't have Canva Pro, you will not be able to remove the background of your photo. So you may need to use um, remove the BG or any other um, software AI that can, you know, remove your background for you. So what I did is I'm going to adjust it this way. Make sure you adjust it closely so you don't crop the image. I'm going to adjust it like this, and I'm going to place this in the middle of her face. Why I adjust the image also to the top and place the line. The line is going to be at the middle. So that's why here you see that you can see half of her face. And when I swipe, I can see the full face. So the second page also have half of her face, as you can see. So that's what I did here. Then after that, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my text. So the text that I used there was, you can create seamless carousels on Canva with your smartphone so i'm going to go to the text my text box i'm bringing my text box i'm going to be using a heading then i'm going to just i've already copied my text i'm just going to paste it why it's very important for you to copy your text is that it just helps you not to you know go ahead and start thinking of what to do when you already prepare your design it makes everything easy then in the font i'm going to be using um Montserrat classic and uh, this is what we have I'm going to be aligning it to align it to the uh, left and just put it here so if you see look at how it is then then how i was able to achieve this yellow there if you're using a pc you can just you know select the text and just change the color but it's a little bit um difficult to do that i don't know if it's even possible to do that on smartphone but what i normally do is i would duplicate this what i did was just click on this arrow this plus sign there and duplicate it again duplicate it again so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to tap on this and remove all the text and leave seamless there i'm going to remove all the text and leave seamless then i set it aside bring this one here i also highlighted smartphone i'm going to remove all the text here and leave um smartphone
put it aside and i'll duplicate the text again and i'm going to leave canva just canva this time around okay then i'll change this color to this yellow the yellow that matches you know this ones there change this the font color to yellow change this front color also to yellow then what i do is that i zoom in take the seamless the seamless um text i'm going to put it on top this one to make sure that it's putting well then i bring canva and put canva place canva on top of it then i bring the smartphone and i place the smartphone on top the smartphone the black one then what i do is that i hold the text i hold it then this option comes up then i click on select multiple because i'm trying to group them now so that they don't move so i click on select multiple then select the main text select the other yellow ones and then i click on all you have to do is to slide slide right and click on group so that way if i'm moving the text they all move together i don't need to get worried that my texts are not going to you know scatter and all so the next thing i want to do is i'm going to go to text again and i'm going to change the fonts to Montserrat classic and i'm going to click on one then i'll click on one I'm trying to give it a page number. Why it's important to give it a page number is so that you don't mix it up, like you don't mix up your design and stuff like that. You will understand better when we are almost um, posting our designs. So I'm just going to bring this one here and make sure it's aligned and change it to two. Right. So the next thing I did is to bring in this um, stuff here. I went to elements and I searched for swipe to find out. <laughs> That's what I searched for, and I came up with this. So I'm just going to reduce this a bit and bring it here, align it here. Then I changed the color to yellow. Then I brought in um, I brought in my text. And what is written in the text is swipe to learn more so i'm just going to change that to swipe to learn more and i'll put it there so here we have it we have our first page ready <laughs> as easy as that next thing you want to do is go to your text um but it's going to be body of the text and i've already copied the text there i'm just going to paste it then adjust it accordingly I'm going to change the font to Montserrat Classic and just adjust it. Whenever you're doing your design, make sure it doesn't exceed this margin. Putting it like this is just off. There are some situations that you can't, but in this situation, it's really off. So I'm just going to put it here like this and expand it a bit. Yes. So this is what this is what we have. Then I went to elements and I brought in this. Just changed the I brought in this, just did it like this. What I what I searched for to get that was um, emphasis. I searched for emphasis to get them this element. Then I changed the color to yellow. I'm just gonna place it here. So we are done with our first and second page. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> Is it like ABC? So the next thing you want to do is to click on this um this button here or this tool um this icon, then duplicate the page. So that way I don't need to start from the scratch to put in my grid line or anything. I already have another page. I can see this is the second page. Now. So what I'm going to go and do is just type design principles. Design principles. So I'm going to change this text to select all and change it to design principles. And I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it here. Then how I was able to get these check marks was I just went to elements and click on um, search for check checklist or check sorry not checklist sorry check check box 
I searched for checkbox and I was able to find um, one of these ones. That's what I use. Look at them, there are a lot here. So I've already copied it. So in order not to waste so much time, I'm just going to paste it here and just arrange them. So depending on what you want, you don't need to put either itemizing in. You can use to, you can choose to itemize it like this. You can use to choose to use bullet box, whatever you choose to use. You can just go ahead and use it. Then the page four, what I did was design tips. I just clicked here copied it and pasted it here and just edited it to tips then i copy this and just put it here so yeah that's pretty much how it is so you can go ahead you can go ahead and keep duplicating the pages and editing it um, depending on the number of pages that you want but for me I'm just going to be sticking to these two pages for this um, tutorial so now that we are done we are going to download this design all you need to do is to click on this arrow sign here click on this arrow sign and then click on download so when you click on download it's going to then click on download again these designs that we just downloaded right here this is it they look like one plain design so yeah so you will be wondering if you go to your instagram and you just go ahead and click on the design this is how it's going to be showing like it's going to be showing like this so the app i used to divide um this um design we just created is called grid post it's available on apple store and play store so you can just download it so i'm just going to click on the grid post and this is what you see then click on create grids then click on panorama 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 crop <laughs> click on it then i'm going to click on the design this is the design that we have and this is exactly what it will be looking like if you have done three pages you can just click on three and it's divided by three but in this um, design, I did two pages. So these are the two pages. Did you see that line that is there? You know that line that we had on Canva? Can you see it showing here? So it's automatically going to... So what is telling us right now that this design is going to be split into two. And that's it. So after you do this, you don't even need to do anything. Just click on done this. And then it has automatically downloaded on your device. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the second the third and fourth page click on done then it automatically downloads um, if i go to my gallery you see this that was together this that was together now is separated it's separated and you can see the second page came before the first page as you mean i did not number the pages i would have gotten confused when i'm uploading it so it's best to always number the pages so go to instagram click on the first page um click on the first page then click on this um tool here to add more then click on the second page click on the third page and click on the fourth page click on next and this is what your design will be looking like and when you click on next and you share it this is what your design would look like so yeah that's pretty much for the video that's how to design your seamless carousel on canva using your smartphone so if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'm going to see you in my next video bye